Hello, my name is Olivia and I thought today would be a good day to do my intro because I actually got ready. If you are new here, thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've already been here, fabulous. Please follow me on my other social medias. I try my best on there. I was going to take a picture in this outfit today for Instagram, but that's going to have to wait because I have important things to do today, like vlog for you guys. Anyways, going to be just giving you a little glimpse into a day in the life, a week in the life. We'll have to see what this, how much I end up filming, but I hope you will stick around. Let's be friends. Let's connect. Um, and yeah, let's get on into it. happy sunday i am currently out shooting some content for my instagram um check it out if you have not um but i'm a failure because my phone is full and i can't shoot anymore um i tried to delete some apps i tried to delete a few videos i just really need to like do a rehaul and just or an overhaul whatever it is and just get rid of some things um but i'm very sentimental and also lazy so i have a tough time doing that but if i want to shoot new content it's kind of necessary so i just shot in this little number it's a cute little um dress from jing j-i-n-g i'm not sure um but just shot in this and i also shot in one other outfit um with some cowgirl boots which i was very excited about but that, I think that's going to be it for the day because I need to get my life together, unfortunately. Um, which sucks because I did my makeup, which I don't often do. Um, but at least I got a few pictures. Hopefully I got a few little clips too. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much going to head home and try to make some space on that. I also need to make space on my computer because my computer is out of space as well. Which is why we haven't had a new YouTube video in a while is because I can't download it. There's no space. I've had it ready on my computer for weeks, if not months, and it's just not not working. So please pray for me. Hope that you are having a fabulous day, and I'll talk to you soon. Good morning. Today is very exciting. I'm finally going to get my hair cut and colored. It just like this. It's just not it. Like it definitely needs a few inches. I can't remember the last time I got my hair done. It was definitely over six months ago, I would say. Um, I'm going to be going, I mean, it looks pretty brunette right now, but I'm going to be going brunette. So I'll insert the little uh, like inspo pic from Summer McKean, I believe. But I just am ready for a change and also um, less upkeep, hopefully. Not that I'm really upkeeping my blonde highlights at all, but just ready for something different over the winter season. So yeah, this is my first time going to the salon, but one of my coworkers suggested her and said she would trust her with her life. So I am also trusting this hairstylist with my life. I am confident that she will do a good job. Um, I'm hoping that it won't be too awkward to like get a couple clips. We'll see. I've never been there before, like I said. So we'll see what the vibe is, you know? Um, but yeah, I am very excited and I'm going to be heading out. So I'll hopefully see you there.
Okay, can we just talk about my hair real quick? I'm obsessed. Like, I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about it. I was just gonna go for it, and you know, if I didn't like it, whatever. I love it. She did such a good job. She was so sweet. I'm definitely gonna be going back. But like, look at this. It just is so shiny and smooth and new and all, not all one color because I have a, a few pieces like to shape my face that were blonde, but she added like some layers, added a few highlights, just really, really did an amazing job. Um, I have no words. I, I love being a brunette. I don't know why I was dyeing my hair all this time. I mean, I loved being a blonde too, but like she darkened up my roots a bit, but like most of this is maybe like a shade darker than what my natural hair is. Um, because naturally a brunette in case you couldn't tell from my overgrown roots before. Um, but I just, I love it so much. She was so sweet. She was like, oh, if you want anything, we got water, beer, wine. You want a shot of whiskey? We got that. I'm like, sis, I, I love you. And it was pretty, I mean, for what it was, it was pretty quick. It was like <sighs> two-ish, two and a half hours. It really wasn't bad. I just, I love it. I, let me know what you guys think. Um, I posted it on my Insta too check that out but I'm so thrilled also I'm like in a neighborhood because I was shooting and people keep walking by and like no one said anything to me they're all very very nice by keeping their distance but I'm like How are you judging me Now I am off to go grocery shopping, and then we actually, um, the new movie Licorice Pizza, we went to go see that, like, last weekend, I think, and they opened up, like, a little, like, pop-up store right down the street from where we live, pretty much, and we're thrilled. Um, I told Matt about it, I texted him, he's in class right now, and he was like, oh my god, we can literally go today, so, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that will be fun and less busy, but we'll see. I'll try to take you along. just out here trying our best to be a little bit more eco-friendly and luckily my friends at public goods don't look at my address my friends at public goods allowed me to pick out a few things to you know help get me started on my eco-conscious ever-changing journey so just wanted to real quick give them a shout out and show you guys what I got first thing I got was this lavender vanilla soy candle you know because soy candles are just better for the environment um i don't really know what other candles are made out of but not soy this one's soy it's nice and minimalistic so it'll look cute wherever you put it and lavender and vanilla are two of my favorite scents just putting them together just makes so much sense you get it really just taking this cover off i can smell it and that makes me so happy because i hate when you have a candle and it's supposed to be like pumpkin spice and then you light it for like six hours and nothing happens you know it's a good ambiance but like where's the scent this you do not have that problem it's like good for you know whatever season winter spring it just a nice fresh and clean smell so definitely will be burning that soon the next thing i got I got this last time they sent me some goodies got it again this time was their lip balm this lip balm honestly like not just because they sent it to me but is genuinely one of my favorite lip balms it just goes on so easy matt uses it all the time too so now i got a second one for when we run out which will be very soon um and once again just so easy to pop into your purse just very minimalistic as i keep saying but i just can't get over their black and white packaging it just really 
really does something for the soul. Um, but super cute, super nice and um, moisturizing. 10 out of 10 for me. The next thing I got was their public goods lotion. I don't know about you guys, but I get so incredibly dry. Like I'm pretty sure I have alligator skin right now instead of my legs. Um, I just get so dry in the winter time like as soon as I come out of the shower I just need to like lather my whole body in lotion this is what's gonna help me it is paraben free vegan friendly sulfate free gluten free has a natural fragrance and is cruelty free what more could you ask for nothing you you couldn't ask for anything more so we'll give her a, we'll give her a whirl I like this little pump too it's cute this is my first time using it though so you know how it goes it takes a it takes a few tries but let's see okay feels nice it's just a very light scent i'm gonna do my elbows because my elbows are perpetually dry it's a very light scent so nothing like overwhelming and especially to sorry the boys are watching sports um it's a very light scent so it's not like overwhelming and especially too i have sensitive skin so sometimes like if something I don't know it's too much too many like chemicals or whatever that makes it smell good it can be a little harsh on my skin but this is really nice last but not least i am the most excited to try this because i've never tried it before but i've heard great things it's the argan oil so it's supposed to be good for well first of all it's non-gmo and cold press interesting um healthy ingredients with nothing to hide we love that okay so it's supposed to be good for like your hair your skin your nails the whole i was gonna say the whole kit and caboodle am i 100 years old maybe but it's good for everything um once again not only does my body get dry but my hair gets dry in the winter time so i'm hoping that this will give it a little extra shine a little extra protection along with my skin it's supposed to be really good to help clear up blemishes and redness which under all this makeup they have unfortunately as most of us do so i'm going to try this out i'll keep you guys updated on what i think about it but i'm really excited and also just anything in an amber bottle just sign me up just sign me on up i'm gonna put this on my bathroom counter and just I was gonna say just look at it, but I'm also gonna use it, but you know what I mean, it's just really cute. If I haven't sold you on public goods yet by just showing you all of the great products that I'll be using, let me just tell you what they do for our planet and for our community. So they help with reforestation efforts, they offset 100% of their shipping, so even though it comes in a cardboard box, the carbon emissions, zero, zero people. Um, they also reuse and recycle their bottles. So this bad boy used to be a different bottle. Now here we are. Fantastic. Love that for us. They also donate their excess inventory, which when I tell you, I was literally just ranting about how mad it makes me that companies just throw away, destroy, or just get rid of their extra inventory because what? They don't want people in need to have them. I don't understand. I don't get it. Public Goods does just the opposite. They will donate their excess goods. They will give them to people in need and just really want to help out the community, which is just something near and dear to my heart. So if you want to join me on my journey to being an eco-friendly queen, you can use my code, which I'll put right here for money off and you'll get a 14 free membership trial, which just beautiful it helps keep the cost down for everyone and you know help save the planet so i hope that you will join me on that journey and once again thank you to public goods for sending me some goodies so if you want to join me on my journey to being an equal you can use my which i love even if it has to come in Oh my god, the boys are so loud. Why did I need to yell? If I haven't sold you on trying out public goods yet, let me just tell you all the good that they do for... Oh my god. If I haven't sold you, let... Okay, if I haven't sold you, let... Oh my god. <laughs>